Dubai Tourism Strategy 2020 was launched in 2013. It is a strategic roadmap with the key objective of attracting 20 million visitors per year by 2020. The strategy focuses on making Dubai as the first choice for the international leisure and business traveler. <laughs> what is Nigeria's plan? We'll be joined by Victor Okai. He is a producer, scriptwriter, director, cinema photographer, fixer, freelance journalist, and logistic provider for major international film companies, co-founder of, of the Directors Guild of Nigeria. He's also contested in the last presidential election for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet to us at Class TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send an SMS to 81 0384663. Thanks for joining us, Victor Kai. Thank you looking for so me. amazing with a <laughs> with a new haircut. Thank you. <laughs> Is that a tourist haircut? Well, it's supposed to attract the tourists. <laughs> it's supposed to attract the tourists. <laughs> All right, so let's yeah. just um, jump right into it because yeah. um, we had earlier we had Sam, you know, just reeling out all the beautiful places and locations in Nigeria, and I know that you have you know gone the length and breadth of Nigeria, what would you think? Because I asked him this question, and I think I would like to ask you again. You know, do you think um, Nigeria, this tourism, everybody's saying that is an abandoned cash cow, do you think it's an assumption, it's actually a reality? It's not an assumption. It's not an assumption. Um, and the reason is simple. Um, recently, um, I saw the tourism master plan for Edo State. I was shocked at some of the sites there. There was a brochure actually, and if you if you if you saw what I saw, you'd be amazed. Now the thing is, we're so there's no there's no strategy. There's no plan. And, and when there's no plan, there's like, and, and, and it's because of the curse of oil. You know, I, I, I consider that a curse because there's so much, even within Lagos, you can't have all of this waterfront and not be able to. You had yes. Cardi B in one small, in one short video, sold Nigeria like nobody has sold in a long while. And I remember her talking about the beaches, and I was wondering which beaches. <laughs> You know, you should come visit, you should see the beaches. I was wondering, excuse me, which, which, which beaches? Which, which beaches? <laughs> exactly. You about? know what I'm saying? But she sees, you know, they see what we don't see. Okay? There's quite a lot. I, I mean, let's not even talk about um, uh, Lagos. Because if you're talking about, if you're talking about tourism, tourism is not just about, there's, there's, there's so many elements to tourism. Um, you, you talk about tourism, you talk about hospitality, because if you go somewhere, you need good hotels as well. Exactly. That's critical. Um, the transportation is critical. Security, super critical. Okay? And then the sites. Now, so you can't talk about the sites in an insecure environment. Now, I have a friend uh, who cannot visit the mainland. Whoa. He's in Lagos here. He works with one of the embassies. He says, Victor, we're not allowed to visit the mainland. Why is that? It's a, it's a security risk. They put it as so, yeah, red So flag. the best he can do is go to Ikeja because that's where the airport, the airport is. Airport, yeah. Until they start the Lekki yeah. <laughs> airport. And then you can be sure that none of them will visit. And I was shocked. And if, if somebody who lives in Nigeria cannot visit, who lives in Lagos cannot visit... Cannot cross third million bridge. Exactly. Mm. Then what are we talking about in terms of tourism? Yeah. So that's where the problem is. There's got to be a deliberate... And that's what Dubai was intentional. I mean, they were strategic, they were intentional about it. They were, and this was just... A, it was an absolute desert. But they decided, and from what you read there, that they were, this is what they were going to be, and this is how they were going to go about it, and they went about it all that, you know, all the way through. Now, what do we have as a plan here? Quite frankly, who cares? When the people prefer to travel to Dubai, when they prefer to spend their holidays abroad, why would they care about anything local? 
So if there's got to be a change, then like I'm hoping they can ban medical tourism. They should also ban, you know, for well, you can't stop Holiday, people from spending. You, you can't stop yeah. people from spending their money. But do we really obviously. have a culture? Because uh, sorry, Uti, I'll let you come in because mm -hmm. I know you have a very critical question. Do we really have a culture of holidaying in Nigeria? You know why I say so. Please, when you travel abroad, do you visit their beaches? No. Or which, where are you going to? We're going to shop. Straight to the mall. We're going to shop. So I don't, I don't even believe that Nigerians have the culture of, tour, of holiday. You know, so their idea of holiday, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> if, you know, my children had to sternly warn us the last time we did a family trip to UK. If you, if you are going to any store, I'm not following you. Yeah. You know, so because of, so we, because of that, we were forced to book tickets to the zoo, to this, to the, so we saw the lions, you know. It was, now that you so we didn't have that zoo, holiday It's spirit. a good thing you mentioned zoo. I grew up in Jaws. Yeah. The zoo was a place to visit. It was a place to take people who visited Jaws to, to visit. The museum was a place to visit. The wildlife park in Jaws was a place to visit. Sherry Hills was a place to visit. I can begin to mention places to you. Kura just Waterfalls. Just alone. Kura Waterfalls was a place to visit, was a sight to behold. I can go and mention so many. Close by you have the Yankari Game Reserve. Okay? What has happened? The question is who cares? Nobody even remembers these sites. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Growing up, we had all of these. But I think our parents during the had holidays, the culture of holidays. During the holidays, as kids at the time, we visited. Mm -hmm. we, we would usually go. Yeah. At Christmas, those were the places to go to. Because those, exactly. were, those were the culture of our parents. Exactly. We don't have that culture, no, no, as far as I'm concerned. No, 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 did they pass on the culture? So what happened? No, did they pass on the culture? I think a lot of us had those experiences as children. I think all those things that you've mentioned, yes. has, we, it's become lost along the way. It's become easier to go abroad. That's the truth. It's now become, for you, you think to yourself, when I'm making my plans for the year, I have to factor in my trip abroad. Nobody factors in a trip in Nigeria. And the reality of it is, I think that we've also even, whilst we're looking at how Nigerians holiday, we're missing, and I think that's the cash cow, it's the Chinese people that are going to Dubai. How do we bring them to, to Nigeria? Nigeria? Because these sites... Now, let me talk about the things that make for because I'm sure the time is, yeah. <laughs> is limited so that we can make the most of it. I'll give you examples of people who may not have who may not have things that are so sophisticated but are a tourist major tourist destination. Yeah. I give you Egypt for instance. What do they have? The pharaohs. Yeah you may say the pharaohs. <laughs> the pyramids at Giza the city of the living dead, the dead yeah. in Cairo there. there nothing big. Then the, the, the museum there that you have, I mean, there are three major places in Cairo, for instance. Then you have places like um, Luxor, which is that one you have to travel to go to. Then the Nile, you do a tour of the mm -hmm. Nile along Alexandria and the rest of it. Now, it has been so packaged that, you know, it's a historical thing. People go, they want to visit. Curiosity mm -hmm. is critical for tourism. Oh, okay. It's critical. You want to see. What makes you want to see? You have heard about. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? If you go to Rome, for instance, all the Colosseums and the rest of them, you want to see and all that. The things you have heard, you want to see. Mm -hmm. An experience. You may never have gone there, but to see an experience, this is something that's probably been projected out there. Okay. So what are we projecting? What are we projecting out there? What are we pushing out there? What is it? You talk about Ekogosi, you talk about the warm springs and all that. So what's the big festivals are critical to tourism. Mm. What festivals are we mm -hmm. pushing out there? They don't have to be. You are going to go, whether you like it or not. It's also is. I mean, it's, tourists visit. Of yes, course, of they course. do. Yes, but that's because it's out there. It's pushed out there. The Online and you the will see. Um, Calabar Festival. Festival. Yes, that you know that is being pushed out there. So we've got to be able to do that across all the states, if the governors are willing, but they're not. Okay, but you see, apart from government. Are there individuals that, because even individual, 
Let me tell you something that we, we don't, when we talk about tourism, the areas we are forgetting, there's religious tourism, you know. Absolutely. Eh? Yeah. The amount of money that goes to the synagogue Mecca, from tourism. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I'm talking about our oh, own our local. Own, yeah, local. Okay. Yeah. Local. So the Mecca and the Jerusalem, that's, but let's talk about local. The Redeem Camp every year mm -hmm. attracts, okay. A lot of people. These are things that make the roads good enough for the people. Put good hotels there because if they come and the experience is not good enough, they might never they, come. They back. might they never come, come back. back. Absolutely. Okay. So apart from the regular ones, what I think we can project? We can project. We can support our religious. Uh, Israel said to uh, what is his name, uh, the uh, synagogue guy. When the guy got angry, they said he was leaving Nigeria when they were harassing please him. Come to so, please come. <laughs> they know the value. They know what you can attract for us. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So tourism. There's so many fronts. Like I said, you can do festivals, the religious um, uh, tourism. There's there's so many. There's so many. It's not just about sites, you know. It's not and just about yes. Yeah. It's about what brings people. When you talk about a tour, you people have to live where they are to come, to visit, you know, to be taken round yeah. or to have an experience. Experience, yes. Okay. So if we look at it in that light, then we begin to say to ourselves, what and what can we project? Yeah. Easy, quickly. Or you, you. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm enthralled. You have a question. <laughs> I was saying. just going to mention because um, one thing that has become, and I think it's here to stay now, is this concept of, of um, dirty December. We're now in the clean January. And I've, uh, what we found in this December was that a lot of Nigerians in the diaspora, there was so much happening in Nigeria in December. I had someone personally say to me, how can boys to men be in Nigeria and I won't be here? So what, what role do you think that, and you mentioned Cardi B as well, that the entertainment industry can play in this concept of Nigerian tourism? Well, let me tell you something. Um, in my campaign, just I didn't have enough time to be able to push that. I had a segment I called the set agenda, sports, entertainment, and tourism. These are three critical areas that are tied together. You can't separate them from each other. Okay? Sports itself is can bring... You know, you do a marathon. It brings people in. Of course. You know what I mean? When you, are, you do an Olympics, for instance, it brings tourists. Yeah, so sports is critical for tourism. And so if you make yourself a major destination, what is Dubai, what makes Dubai tourism? Is the shopping. The same shopping you're talking about. <laughs> But even at that, when you go to Dubai, you still get to see different sites. And you go for the sand, you know, culture see, of no the way, people as well. See. What attracts you is the right. shops. Then when you go to the shops, they, they, then other things. It's not those things. I don't know any other thing. There what is the shops. What attracted me was the... No, you were the, there before you saw those ones. <laughs> it was the shops. It was shopping first. It was first. shopping first. <laughs> And then you went there, and then they gave you a whole a total okay. package so because and experience. <laughs> you know what? Okay. What would be the likely quick wins for us to drive tourism? Quick wins. To drive tourism? Because you mentioned villagers, um, tourism. What did you say? Oh, quick wins, yeah. Villagers, what do you mean? No, you, you mentioned religious um, tourism. Yeah, yes, I'm saying yes, quick yes. wins for us. Yes, quick wins. To drive tourism. Yes, let's recognize what drives tourism. Okay. Eh? It's not just sites. It's not just beaches. Yeah. Beaches are the experience. Okay. Eh? Our religious, don't fight them, encourage them. All those dollars are coming <laughs> in, they will spend them here. Yeah. Okay? More sports, look at what they're doing in Edo State. The, the sports festival. That, no, not that marathon that they do, yes. o, 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 yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. You know, things like that. Um, uh, what you call, what Lagos State has started now. The this, Lagos City Marathon. Yeah, no, not apart from the marathon. Mm. This you just exactly. said it now. The music festival, festival. Yeah. that is taking place. Yeah. Okay, so little, little things like that. It's before you know what is happening. Everyone wants to go. Why do I'll say this in, mm. in close because I know you want to close yeah. very quickly. Why do the Igbo people, for instance, leave and want to go home to back the to the village? It's for the experience. Mm. Create an experience that people will love. You know, uh, and we, they will come. Was it two weeks ago? Um, yes. 10th of January was Fed de Voudon in, yeah. in Benin Republic. Yes. We mentioned yes. it. The Voodoo Festival. The Voodoo Festival. Say it in and English. Yes. No, I had to say the Fed de Voudon. You know, <laughs> so, you were, yeah, it sounds so, so French. So I did some French classes. <laughs> and quickly, it was strictly like, like uh, what's it called? Traditional. Um, festival where they do their traditional religion. So religious? why can't we also harness our shongo, all these well, things, and we'll use them like the New Yam festival? All the, because we have them. We have yeah, the Ayo. We have all of those things. Why do we? Why do we demonize it? 
Did you see the way I was taking this? Yes. There are even even your drinks or uh, look like some people go to some place just to have a smoke mm -hmm. eh, of whether a boy or whatever. <laughs> it, they, it can just recognize what's big about your place, throw it up, and tourism is about people coming to visit for the experience. Yeah. What is the experience? You know, scale up that experience, project it out there. And people will come. Oh, that's all. Right. That's Fantastic. what Fantastic. I think we can. <laughs> we can wrap. If you build it, they will come. Yes. yes I exactly. think we can, we can wrap on Build that. it and project it. On a very light note, he, he sipped the drink because I actually did. on I Waze did. we give you the experience. Yes. You know, <laughs> you can't come to Waze and not 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 have an experience going back. <laughs> all right. So thank you so much for joining us, Victor. Thank okay. you, Marvin. Thank you so much. So you can catch beautiful studio, all, beautiful uh, all, hostesses. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> catch us yeah, live every program. weekend from. Fridays to Sundays at 8 p.m. as we bring thought-provoking, engaging, and informative conversations to your screen. And you can watch a repeat broadcast on Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 3 p.m. Um, so you're watching the repeat for today, tomorrow at 3 p.m. So it's been a very, very good conversation, ladies. It has been. It's been good. My eyes have been open. It's been an experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I think we're going to encourage more Nigerians. Please, 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 you know, visit Nigeria. We have beautiful places in Nigeria. Tourism is huge in Nigeria and we need to start tapping into that um, that place so in case you missed today's quote now here it is it said tourism is the biggest industry period so that's from Martin Pa <laughs> all right so enjoy the rest of your evening say bye-bye ladies bye-bye <laughs> I'm the gentleman too oh bye. sorry bye.